everything okay here? <sighs> no problem, Skip. Hi everybody, and welcome back to another Let's Play of Life is Strange Before the Storm. This is episode 1 and part 2. No, part 4. Yeah, sorry. Um, so, yeah. I basically, uh, did everything that I did. So, oh, yeah. Oh, good! You're here! Yeah, I basically we did everything I did off camera, so yeah. As always, let's get into it. I haven't um, uploaded this, um, the next part for a while. It's been kind of ages since I think he posted a video of Love is Strange. I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father. I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda. Indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time had listened to... Many a time the harmony of their tongues... Hath I listened to... Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner, who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton, sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. This is getting as surreal as last night. Looking good, Rachel. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. The question is... Are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? True love. Sometimes, when you meet someone who's going to change your life, you just know it, I guess. Also, you've got parents coming to see the show, right? At 20 bucks a ticket, it's gotta be true love. Wow. A romantic and a cynic. That actually kind of helps me. Thanks. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. Your eye looks fabulous. Where'd you get that? Uh, what? <laughs> I'm just kidding. That asshole really clocked you. It wasn't a big deal. I'll just be a minute. Okay, so why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit and don't, like, fall down. <laughs> Should be doable, right? There you go. Know. Sharon is caring. To internet or not to internet? I have feelings about this. Most of them are not good feelings. <laughs> Why do theater kids take themselves so seriously? Rachel looks so happy here. There's Rachel's belt. Guess I'll go give this to Rachel now. Sweet collar, Pepe. Should be life is drama. 
if I'd known acting meant getting to play with weapons, I totally would have auditioned for the, the Tempest. Times are hard for elite private high schools. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta turn up the heat. Rachel Amber, drama star and guardian angel. I still can't believe that was her last night. Just keeping it real. Definitely an improvement. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta turn up the heat. I'm gonna guess it's from Logan. Uh, Rachel? Is this your belt? Yes! <laughs> Thank you. That was a cool costume. I really like your costume. Thanks. So? Did you bring flowers for my dressing room? I owe you. Uh, I guess I owe you. I'll hold you to that. I'll let you finish changing now. Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. The firewalk was pretty good. I, I, I've never seen firewalk live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? That's deep. Is that a rhetorical question? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Has Rachel Ember gone rogue? Ditch class? You mean it? Is that weird? No, it's awesome. I hoped you'd say that. Now about that eye, that is a hell of a battle scar. Do you want me to cover it up with some makeup? Great idea. Yes, please. People won't shut up about it. Hold still. This is a lot of makeup. That's the price of Valor. Close your eyes. Shit. Let's get the hell out of here.
Hey, why were you in the chat? Everything okay? Yeah. What happened with Drew? People saying you were awesome! Yo, let's talk later. Okay. We becoming home point tonight. We home by Drew. I don't like how we left things, which, which all come out tonight. Perfect. Is that a sound effect or no? Rachel wants me to pull up a chair in one of these crates. Guess we're not the first ones to hop on this train. I wonder what the symbols mean. Things heavier than it looks. Guess I should sit down. I see humans, but no humanity. Everybody is somebody, but no one wants to be themselves. <laughs> Some preachy graffiti up in this train. Everybody lied. Everybody lies. I like that. Freaking Amber. Play it cool. Is this nervousness? Is that what this feeling is? I wish Max were here, so I could ask. Should I make small talk? Is that what people do? Nice what? It's nice Rachel we're having. <laughs> What? I mean, weather. It's nice weather. It sure is. So, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. No, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name is Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. I didn't mention it earlier, but we seem to have some kind of Jedi mind powers over Mr. Keaton and the theater crew. You mean when we were talking about true love in the play? I guess you could say I'm good with people. Yeah. Just don't pull that stuff with me. I will get on this train. Oh, shit. I bet you're wondering. 
doing what we're doing. That's yeah. not a turd. Yeah. Well, I want to company. That's it. That's it. I love company. It's a fucking go. Anything beats another second in Blackwell. You really hate it there, don't you? You don't? <laughs> right. What reason would Rachel Amber have for hating Blackwell Academy? You're high school royalty. You don't know really me. Yet. Let's do something fun. I can read. Okay. I'm listening. Two truths and a lie. What? I think we should play Two Truths and a Lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth, and one of which is a lie. Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. Sounds fun. Sounds fun. You're on. I'll start. First, I'm ambidextrous. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway, to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Kathmandu. One day, I'm going to climb Everest. And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. And what's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Okay. So ambidextrous. Born in New York and a Leo. Gotcha. So, which is the lie? You're way too lucky to be a Leo. You've got to be a Sagittarius or something. The Archer? Well, that'd be cool. Like Artemis? But I'm afraid I was telling the truth. Seriously? Can't be bored. <laughs> no, the lie was New York. I've never been there, though I want to one day. I was born in Long Beach. New York's on the bucket list, man. Sounds good. Okay, your turn, Christ. First fact. Right. Something about myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. I used to want to be a pirate when I grew up. I kind of still do. Arr. I used to love country music when I was a kid. Now it makes me want to grow up. Literally. That's weird. I love science. Seriously, I think Neil deGrasse Tyson is the shit. Huh. You're hella mysterious, Holy Christ. Uh, hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a cow thing. Anyway, I think I have your number. I'm not sure why country music makes you grow up. I'm a complex girl, Rachel. I think it's probably true. Also, I kinda like the Dixie Chicks. She and David both. No accounting for taste. Who's David? He's, ah, uh, <laughs> the guy my mom's seeing, I guess. Oh. And you don't like him. <laughs> it's... Still, so 
weird that she's dating someone. My dad and my mom, <laughs> they were totally in love. You can tell how fucked up she is now just by how she's settling for David. He's this total hard-ass ex-military jack-off type. Like the opposite of my dad. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, David has no respect. He acts like I'm some kind of problem that's all. Sometimes I am a problem, though. That's a little bullshit. You're not a problem, Chloe. You're a person. It sounds like the only problem is David. You need to hit him where it hurts. <laughs> the only thing that David loves has four wheels and a four barrel carburetor. <laughs> oh god. A muscle car? I'm probably going to steal it soon, so. Well, let me know if you need an accomplice. Of course you want to be a pirate. Sail the open seas, buckle swash, plunder secret treasure. So, pirate, obviously true. Maybe you'd like to be my first mate. Oh, are you accepting applications? Considering it. Okay, you say you love science, but or failing chemistry. You're saying failing chemistry means I hate science? Or that Blackwell doesn't inspire your best work? That place is a hellhole filled with shit where shitty people go to be shitty to each other and themselves. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel though. Anyway, school sucks, but you love science. I'm gonna say true. So, if my math is correct, you didn't actually tell me any lies. Maybe I'm the virtuous sort. I certainly hope not. You're crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. Well, I'm impressed. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe Price. I am not feel good about that one. When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is something you're used to. Seriously? Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of the ticket, but I'm not that I have a right of my own. Car first. Embarrassing number of moving violations second. Hey, thanks for trusting me. Trusting me? You played the game. And not everyone would admit to wanting to be a pirate. But eye patches are so cool. And rum is delicious. Also, you told me about that dick one David. Now he's on my shit list too. Hell yeah. Mustache brain won't know what hit him. I guess. You opened up a lot. That's all. It's not a big deal. I hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned for Albert Katie Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. I'm just not really into touchy feely shit. But I feel like I can trust you. Yeah? I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. Hey, you want to listen?
for the bracelet. I've had it, I guess, since I was a kid in Long Beach. Remind me of there's more I experience out there than just my candy right now. Maybe one day I'll go back to Long Beach. Or anywhere. Maybe soon. What brought that on? Sometimes I feel like I've gotten nothing to say. Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need to call us. Check it out! We're here! What? Where is here? Jump and find out! Did you say jump? Jump! Alright guys, so, yeah, I'm gonna leave this talk here, so, anyway guys, if you guys have enjoyed this episode, please like, comment, and subscribe, and, yeah, as always, I'll see you guys on the next one, bye.